as we prepare readers to infer a text's main idea and eventually the author's purpose, it's important to build a foundation of understanding about text structures. Stories or narrative texts have a predictable pattern. They always present a character who faces a conflict that gets resolved. This consistent organization makes it easier for students to follow. However, informational text is not so predictable. It can utilize one of five different text patterns. Consequently, without an understanding of text structures, the reader doesn't know how to mentally organize the barrage of information that he's consuming. This often leads to confusion and makes nonfiction text intimidating. The secret to overcoming this reader obstacle is to understand why an author has chosen a specific text structure. And that is because he's organizing the information to match his writing purpose. Review the three broad reasons to write, to persuade, to inform, to entertain. And although there's only one way to organize persuasive text, and there's only one way to organize narrative text, there are five different ways to organize nonfiction text. So when revealing the informational text structures, do so by defining five shades of informing. Number one, if the author wants to teach the reader how something works, then he must use a procedural step-by-step -step text structure. Number two, if the author wants to explain all about a concept, then he must use a descriptive or categorical text structure. Number three, if an author wants to study two things in one text, then he must use a compare contrast text structure. Number four, if an author wants to show the relationship between two things, he must use a cause effect text structure. And number five, if an author wants to reveal a bad situation that's now better, he must use a problem solution text structure. Once students know of the five different ways to organize nonfiction texts, teach them how to discern which one an author used. And that comes down to analyzing the type of information within the text. Teach students to look carefully at the topic revealed in the introduction, the type of information in the body, and the kinds of transitions used among sentences. For example, if the introduction names an event and then the body paragraphs each reveal a step or phase and all the transitions identify the order it occurred, it must be following a procedural text structure. But if it starts by introducing a broad topic and then each body paragraph explains just one significant part or a smaller facet of that big topic, then it must be following a descriptive text structure. You see, that's the secret. Analyze the types of detail per section. Then look at the different sections of information that have been provided. Students who just read to collect facts and get her done will always struggle to comprehend nonfiction text. But with an understanding of text structure, readers break the information into manageable chunks, following the author's ideas from beginning to end. And this significantly improves comprehension.